You've spent a lot of hard-earned cash on nice, expensive rackets, and when you get on court, a clash happens and you see chips on your racket. It's painful, isn't it? I might have a solution for you today, as I've been testing this premium racket protector for a while now. Also, I need your help on this too, and some of you might be getting this for free. Before I tell you more, I want to say I'm really humbled and grateful to seeing the support and responses you guys have given me from my last video. I really appreciate the kind messages everyone has sent, so I just want to say the process of getting back to court is well underway, so I look forward to being able to get back jumping on court soon. So what's this racket protector, you ask? It's a premium self-healing PU polyurethane film, which is less than 0.2 millimeters thick. It protects your racket frame and is super transparent with excellent UV and chemical resistance. And from my testing, it's been absolutely amazing. Filming this was actually really hard as they're almost invisible. And even when a racket is handed to me, unless I specifically look for them, you don't really notice them, especially if the strips are put on well. It's pretty incredible. But first off, if you have any thoughts for a great name for this, put it down in the comment section below and if your suggestion was chosen as a thank you, I'll send you it for free. With this badminton racket protector, I was thinking about it like how we treat our mobile phones. We have screen protectors and tempered glass on to protect the screen and even have phone cases for more protection too. So why not our badminton rackets? We spend hundreds or thousands, depending on your currency of course, on our rackets and we want them to last. So why not protect them? Wear and tear and accidents always happens, and additionally, I think badminton racket clashes and chips are kind of inevitable, especially in a competitive match where you're going for your shots and at some point you're going to catch the floor or clash rackets with your partner. You shout out that it's yours, but still, it happens. It's just a part of the game. We see at all levels, even the pros do it. If we're lucky, we come off unscathed. Slightly unlucky, we see chips. Very unlucky, broken rackets. I've been working on this for a little while now and some of you actually saw it a while back in my video where I showed you what I have in my badminton bag. That protector sheet? Yep, I've been trying them for months and I think it's now a good time to share it with you all, but how I stumbled across it was completely by accident. Initially, I was actually looking at how we can have custom liveries on our rackets. If we didn't like how our rackets looked, how hard is it to have a new design on? Kind of like our phones again, we all have different style phone cases as we all fancy different designs. Through that, I got as far as to 3D scanning my racket before I was introduced to this incredibly premium protection film, which caught my eye. Those dots on my racket? Yes, those are markers used for 3D scanning, so the software recognizes where things are in space. Since then, I've been working on a lot of prototype design to try and perfect the size, shape, and how they can be applied onto the rackets with minimal fuss. Additionally, it is also important to check if they actually do protect our rackets or if they cause any damage when we try and remove them. I've also shared these with some of the players and listening to their feedback as well. I've made every sheet of this racket protector to be an A5 size so they're easy to ship, as shipping is expensive, especially international shipping. Secondly, because of the premium material that we're using, I want a minimal waste. So in every single sheet, you're gonna get 16 strips of nine and a half by one centimeter strips, six of the eight by one centimeter strips, and two of the three by one centimeter strips centimeter strips, which in total gives you more than 200 centimeters or two meters of racket protection material, enough for multiple rackets, depending on how you choose to use them, of course. So why nine and a half and eight centimeters in length? This was because from testing, this was kind of the ideal length without being too difficult to apply. One centimeter width works really well for all of the racket frames that I've tested so far without covering any grommets. So your stringers won't hate you when they have to string your rackets. If you're wondering why they rounded edges. This is again from testing. Straight edges have increased surface tension compared to round edges, so they curl and peel. And this was solved with round edges, which also make them easier to handle. I've also managed to remove all the negatives, making each strip easier to remove and apply onto your racket. So here's where I need your help. I want your feedback as I want to improve this further. For example, when I was testing it myself, I applied it throughout the whole frame, but from more testing with other players, most of them agreed that chips only normally happen at the top half of their rackets, so they were only applying it on the top half section. And if you're asking if the racket protector changed how the racket felt, 
I'll be honest and say it did for me, but not for others that had tested him at the same time. I checked with those who's tried it and most of them did not notice. But similarly, like a new phone with new case and tempered glass, it added a bit more weight on. So for those of you who are putting lead tape on to add more head weight to your rackets, why not use this to protect your racket frame and add some head weight at the same time. In terms of application, I prefer to wipe my racket with a piece of cloth to make sure it doesn't have any dust or dirt on them. Then with clean hands, simply apply the strips onto the racket frame from the inside with your thumbs before folding them outwards, pushing them with my thumbs to ensure there's no air bubbles. I also prefer to have the strips sit flush against each other, but others prefer them to overlap, and that's okay too. For removals, I've never had any issues with it at all, even after it's been applied on for months. Just simply pull them off when you'd like to replace them, and that's it. They're fairly stretchy, so they will conform and stick well to your racket as long as your frame and fingers are clean. We now come to the hard part. How much does this cost? For less than 10% or in some cases 5% off a top end racket's price, you can buy them on my website at ckyw.com forward slash shop for $9.99. And as a thank you for coming along with me on this little experiment, I will cover free delivery worldwide on these premium protector sheets until I run out during this initial period. I think it's a good investment for anyone who's looking to better protect their rackets from potential chips and scrapes with this. I'm also currently testing more materials, including some that's cheaper, so hopefully your feedback will help me with this and I will certainly pass on the savings if we manage to get them to work. A simple feedback form will be sent to anyone who buys this and as a bonus, everyone who completes the form will get a code for an extra free sheet when you make your next purchase. So there's some incentive for letting me know how you feel. If it's good for you, I want to hear about it. If it's bad, I also want to know about it too. Along with those who've purchased my merch, your purchase of this protector will help support this channel, allowing me to review a wider range of badminton equipment, make better videos, and attend more events too. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.